Hey guys, what's up? Brian Hall here again, and today I have a picture-in-picture -picture, kind of like split, split screen effect. Uh, this is great for phone calls, and uh, it's good for a lot of things. You can do kind of any picture-in-picture -picture style, but uh, I specifically use this one for phone calls because this is a pretty common way that this is used, and it's kind of confusing to figure out in Final Cut at first. But anyway, let's get right into the tutorial. Uh, this is the simple way of what it will look like kind of in the end. Sorry for my bad acting on the left, and then uh, this is a way that kind of makes it more, the, ne or the next way that I'm going to show you rather, is a way that's more appealing, kind of uh, keying in the pictures, and I can show you that guys that in another tutorial if you guys want it, but I don't want to specifically do it in this tutorial because then the length would get kind of long because we would get into keyframing and uh, stuff that's kind of easy but takes a little bit of time to learn, but this is what it would look like. If you guys want me to do a separate tutorial on this, I would love to. Just send me a message. If one person messages me, I will uh, do it. But here you go. Uh, kind of just a simple keyframe effect. Those are meant to be full screen, but when I made it, I guess I made it wrong. But anyway, let's get right into this. So you would do File, New Project, Simple Stuff. If you don't know that, then you probably shouldn't be at this point of tutorial. So I'm just going to go right here real quick and just... Uh, figure out what clips I use real fast uh, and I already have my clips in here if you need to get clips in you can do file import files then find your files but since both mine are already in here I'm just gonna drag them in and chances are you're not gonna need the audio for these so you can press command L to unlink the clips and then highlight the audio tracks and just delete them uh, and then what you're gonna wanna do is Double click what you're going to need. I'm going to press Shift Z on in this viewer window so I can see my full viewer screen because before it was kind of small and I wouldn't want that. Uh, but I'm going to zoom out on my timeline also so I can kind of see the whole thing. And you can also press Shift Z again. And this is so you can see the whole timeline from here to here. Uh, just an easy way to view your whole project. It's very useful if you have a kind of full project. Anyway, now I'm just rambling. But, um,. To get the picture in picture, the first thing you're going to want to do is double click this and you're going to want to go to the motion tab up here and then here's all your motion stuff and you're going to want to go to crop and yes it is this simple. Uh, on your left margin, you're going to want to just crop it, scrub through to make sure you don't just go fully out of the screen, uh, the frame here and then also just go to the right and I don't need the thing of you hanging up the phone in this one at least so I'm just gonna just press B to get my crop or not my crop my cut tool then just um A to get the uh, select tool back and then just press delete to delete that uh, just because I don't need that that's kinda unnecessary just for extra clips to render but um yeah this is really bad acting so I have kinda weird motions here but as you can see I have the half of the screen done so you can do this, and if you want to get really into it with math and you want to be precise, you can kind of make sure these two add up to 50, so it's it's actually like 50-50 split on the screen. But, um, I mean, if you don't want to do that, it's kind of unnecessary. You can kind of just guess it out, and it should usually look fine. Uh, I'm just going to add a little bit more to each side on here because it looks a little bit over. And then we're going to do the same thing on this one. And this is actually my friend. This is a video that I made last year. It's a music video. Uh, this was just like a phone call. And just going to make the left margin smaller and the right margin. And then make just scrub through. Make sure it's all right. Then move this over. Just going to zoom out there so I make sure that's on the frame. Uh, Shift Z back again. And overlap these. And when you overlap them, they should look all right. Uh, just like that, this one is a little bit not perfect because I didn't do like 50-50 perfect, but this is just a tutorial to show you guys a uh, simple intro on how to do it. So that's how you do it, and then uh, you would just line them up, so command B, for, or not just, not command, just B to uh, get the cut cool, then cut tool, and then, um, sorry, I can't speak right now, and then, uh, so yeah, that's basically it. It's really simple once you have it figured out. Uh, you just command you not command R to render that out, and then if that's your final thing, which I don't think it would be, you can export it from here. 
or you can use this into your video. So I hope that helped you. And uh, if you guys want any more tutorials in Final Cut, or if you want to see the kind of keyframing in like I did here, uh, just to give it a nicer add to it, uh, just comment below or send me a message, and I would love to do that. It would be simple and easy for me to do. And if you guys want to know about any other Final Cut tutorials, just send me a message, and I will do them within a day or two, hopefully. So there you go. Uh, there's your final video for this. And I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.